Hello and welcome back to Fort Tribe with me, Barton. Right, first thing we're going to do is we are going to grab this. Okay, we're still on um, version 0 0.7.5 and this, I'm basically recording this right after the last one that you saw me do. Right, so there's 12 of those guys, that could be fun. Let's give them a try. This battle. Some factions in the world map offer better perks when you have higher favor with them. Cool. Right, so 12 of these guys, we can see four of them up there. Where the hell are the rest of them then? Oh, there's some over there. Okay. Right, so, oh, just one's there as well. Yep, yeah, so, the big problem with this one is, is the fact that they're going to be all, they're all going to be spread out. So, she's going to go there. And she's going to hold watch. Okay, then Ruby is going to go... It's 2 AP, it's not, no, not what we want. Okay, Caitlin, go here. Embrace. Ruby now should be able to go there in one turn, yes she can. And Overwatch. And Abigail. You go here. Embrace. So the idea of keeping them here is to draw all the enemies in kind of this way. So that the closer we get them together, the easier it is for us. Okay, well he's not getting any closer, but it's fine. <laughs> okay, so he's in a good spot for us. Just need a few orders now to go close to him. Okay, so he's going to be in group two. So we've got three different areas now. He's alerted a few others. Those two are kind of together. Okay. okay. So where are you going to go from there? Okay. Now, so Vortex, I think we can maybe Vortex those if she moves, but I'm not sure about moving her, that's the problem. That one, um, we know we're going to be able to kill. This one too. You're going to make it rain. Abigail should be able to just straight up kill that one if she can. Abigail's going to do that. Then Caitlin is going to come here. So you're gonna kick this tree over and kill this one. Okay, good. Now, how far is your reach? Okay, so you need to get a one, one, two, three. So you need to move three tiles up, or maybe four tiles up, and one to the side. You can move, maybe, oh, don't do that, <laughs> whatever you do. If we move to here, maybe that's going to work. So go there. Then, Vortex. I'm still only getting those two. Okay, well, we'll just have to take it. Let's get you two. Okay, two sorted. So there's attack of opportunity on you. 
Yeah, you were the closest. So the others won't get as close. So we probably will only take one hit in that round. Yeah, so there's two together, they're sorted. You hit us. Okay, so we took two hits. That's fine. Now, yeah, the same line as that. You two, or one of you, is almost a, a waste. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to sort. Okay, so. Let's think. These two we can just kick one into the other. This one we can kick into there. So she's gonna do that now. Kick you. Okay. Ah, we haven't got an attack of opportunity. We would have stunned that one as well. She's going to kick those two and we're probably going to kill both of them. That one's going to die. Oh, that one's going to die from the kick. So does that mean we'll actually hit that one? Let's see. Kick. You. Yeah. There we go. Both of those are dead. Okay. Now that still leaves two for us to deal with. So you and you so you have you have six health okay. are you actually behind the tree are you considered to be behind the tree it's hard to tell but I suppose if we try and move there we'll know yeah you're behind the tree and you're behind the tree Okay. So we can blow the tree over on one of them. Which one should we do it on though? Because whichever one we do, we're going to have to be able to do, do something to do with the other one. How far can you move in one turn? There. Okay, I'm gonna try this. She's gonna move there. She ain't gonna grappling hook. Ooh, that's actually pretty bad. But she can survive another hit. So you're going to Take this tree down. Okay. That guy's stunned. She's still going to try this. Because if we can grapple it, she'll get an attack of opportunity and we, we're probably going to kill it. Okay, missed. It's fine. So you go there. That one will attack her, which is okay. And now you can retaliate, it's gonna die, and we just have to kill you. Okay, <laughs> that wasn't that difficult. And then you can get the kill on this one, I think. You have to move away, but you can still do it. So go behind this tree. And do that. Okay, gotcha. Right, so closing in on level four now, which is good. Yeah, the, the ones with a lot of enemies give me um, most trouble, I find. It's not the ones with the really scary enemies. It's the ones with 
uh, just a lot of enemies because you know if I make mistakes and uh, freely admit that and when I make mistakes then um, when there's a few enemies I can recover from it but when there's a lot of enemies normally it means that I'm gonna take damage and you saw that there so I'd like to um, does that mean that over there isn't in the game yet maybe because you can't can't select this bridge so I think you can't go that way at the moment so I'd like to go maybe around here and see what's around here yeah I think that's an area that isn't on the map yet Okay, let's move up a bit so we get a bit more sight. Let's take that. Rumor has it this well can restore sight to the blind. Rumors often exaggerate. Plus two to sight. Okay, three spiders there. Can't see what's behind it, but let's attack it anyway. Oh, we've got what's that there? Hmm. Yeah, let's battle. Three spiders shouldn't be that difficult. Okay, interesting. The oh, okay, <laughs> three of those spiders. Yeah, what was I saying about not being that difficult? I like how the the ground though is different here. I think that's a nice a nice feature. Okay, so you're going to go here, and I'm going to start with our Vortex. Okay, there we go, so all three are now stunned, and it's going to be pretty easy to actually kill them. So she's gonna dash and slash. She's then gonna come here. And I think this should get her and get this spider into the water. Oh it didn't, okay. <laughs> oh we need to make it rain, okay. So we'll have to do that next time. You're gonna come to here and just have an attack on this one okay six damage Ruby is going to move up a little because you don't want the spiders the spiders can't attack us so when they can't attack us I don't like to have the people spread out too much because then they spread out too much and then we can get into trouble that way so she's gonna make it rain but when they can attack I like to have these guys further back Okay, there's an attack opportunity. Now they're all lined up. Which is going to be a lot of fun. Okay, so should I do this? I think I should. You're going to activate your bloodlust. Okay. Caitlin is going to come here. She's going to boot you. I was thinking of putting Caitlyn there and then using her um, whirlwind to move them, but then if the whirlwind misses, we probably killed everybody, so uh, let's not do that. <laughs> there we go. Wow, she did 17 damage that just to the one. That's now... Uh, no, that's just regular. Shoot. 85. 65. 80. Let's go for the one that's hardly taking any damage. Just keep them all around the same. And then the same one again. Oh god. <laughs> 
Right, so they're going to line up again, I think. Oh, not quite. Right, so... Let's see. The first thing is that Caitlyn can go here. She can kick this spider. So those two are going to be stunned. <laughs> and that one is gone. And again, we we bash it for 15 before it dies in the water. And then that leaves... Oh, she's left up as well. Okay, so... Taunt. I love the way it's just give the finger. And then blinding light. Let's take blinding light. Right, so this one... I'm pretty sure she can just kill it. Okay, it's going to do 14 to 18. So she could kill either one. So Ruby... Let's see. If you do 6 damage, you might be able to kill this one. Okay, there's 6. Then... She can move up here. Give herself, give herself a better chance. 90% and it's dead. There we go. And then Abigail can just finish that one off. Okay, thanks Spider, that was a fun fight. Right now, let's go onwards. Don't forget to use your melee hero zone of control. Move next to range enemies to disable their range capabilities. Yeah, that's actually pretty, pretty handy. A source of mystical power, this totem will grant you magic over time. Okay, what's this? Oh, we can't see yet, so let's go up there. Oh, we actually have to end the week. Okay, monsters are going to get stronger. Right, so we're going to go there. A wise lanky hermit regales you with tales of his exploits. Sitting there, sipping on delicious tea and learning of his adventures, the party feels sharper than ever and ready to battle. Okay, plus 10 accuracy for next battle. Let's go and talk to you. Hey there! Welcome to World Shapers College of Arts and Wizardry. Are you here to sign up for school? That's very really exciting. Let us just get the required paperwork. Where was it? Where was it? Hmm. Okay, let's leave. So they're the ones that attacked us before. So it's interesting that we can't um, kind of interact. What is that there? These two are interesting to me. But I think we can get to this one. So we're going to go here. You encounter a lone savage tent. Okay, we've seen that before. I want to, yeah, can we get there? I want to get this first. And then you're going to have it. Oh, it's an action mission, okay. And then you're going to do that. A booming voice greets you. I am Javelin, mightiest of the old warriors. I see you are fierce warriors as well. Your party responds with amicable indifference. Unfortunately, I was turned into a statue by a jealous wish wizard. So here I sit. Challenging do-gooders to difficult battles. If you battle my minions and somehow survive the ordeal, I shall grant you a great boon. Do you wish to fight Javelin? It's obliging. Let's see what boon we get out of this. I like taking on fights that are too difficult for someone of my skill. Because <laughs> fights that are easy for me, um, you know, I don't enjoy. Like these ones on legendary where I have to uh, think a lot and I make mistakes and stuff and I think that's great. Like sometimes I do well and the enemy doesn't get to move and other times I take some damage through my own stupidity but it always keeps you on my toes. I like that. Right, so first thing, let's put you here. Okay. And then you're going to overwatch. Then Abigail is going to move up 
as far as here. Okay, and she's going to brace. Caitlin is then going to move to there. But she's going to brace. Ruby can just stick behind here and hold watch. Okay. Right, so there's their savage. Okay, no, nice, we killed one of them already. Oh, but there's the rest of them. Okay, so you have a ranger. Okay, ranger's gone back there. Okay. Have a mage. Okay, so they're gonna stay at long range. Another mage. Then there's the savage. That looks like another savage. And another savage. Okay. And then we got a mage there. Okay, so that mage is screwed. Got a paladin. Okay. Right, so the Oh, she's leveled up, so let's get her Blink. Blink, I feel, is better than Swap, at least in this current build. Yeah, let's Blink her to here. It's probably going to be good. Yeah. But we, we won't do it until we deal with you, so dealing with you isn't all that difficult, thankfully. So have you there. That's going to give an attack of opportunity. That won't. Hmm. Don't need that wood either, but then we open ourselves to those guys. That is a vortex. Um, thing though. So what we could do let's see. I want you to move. I'm not sure where yet. So vortex is one, two Does Vortex like that? And then one. Not sure. She get an attack of opportunity moving there though. Right, so we have to deal with this paladin. You kick that, it goes there. It won't hit her. If you move here, you can kill her. Should be fine. She has how much? She's five health. You do four to six, so you could potentially kill her. Not from there though. From here? I don't think so either. Keeping away from those savages is the main thing that we have to remember. How far does your vortex reach? Not even close to them. And I don't want to move you any closer because all the mages are suffering down there. Don't do that either. Because it'd be a bit of a waste. So I'll take this chance. She's going to move there. So I'm going to shoot you. Okay, so you're dead and done. Good. She's left up as well. Okay, let's get her smoke bomb. Okay. Now you can now move here. 
is good. And you can whirlwind you. Oh, missed. Okay, that was no help. Hmm. Go there, kick that one. It doesn't really do us any good. If you go there, it's going to get an attack for opportunity on you. Is there anything else we can move to hit you? That's too far away. If she hadn't made it rain, maybe we could do it, but not now. That's going to miss you, because it's going to go there and there. So you're 12. I think we just have to kill you. So let's go here. Okay, there's eight. And she's going to come here. And finish you off. So I'd rather not have done that, because we use both of their moves. Um, these guys are going to pick us off from range. Okay, that was a miss. Good. That was not a miss, though. That was good. Okay, so Savage moved there. Okay, and moved right up beside us. Okay, so those savages now are... Oh, hi there. Now it's two of you, okay. Where are you going? Okay, that makes it difficult. Those three down there are going to be trouble, but she's going to take this. Vortex on you. She then shoots this for another vortex. She can move and do it first though. Or she can move and then do it, which is what I meant to say. Okay. You can kick this one and then we'll stun it. So let's start with that. Kick you. Okay, stunned. You now move to there. Shoot this. Oh! I was pretty sure to pull her something else in with her, but didn't. Just pull her around the corner. Okay? So we now have to do something else to deal with you. Is, does your vortex reach both of them now? No, you get one or the other. Okay. Let's see. Caitlin. You're just gonna have to kick this one. Okay, and we killed it. Good. Now you're going to have to go here. Okay. 
and then Vortex. This one. Okay, so she's handled for a moment. Okay, miss, that's good. Need lots of misses from you guys. She doesn't look like somebody's gonna miss though. Oh, she did miss, but she got a lucky vortex. <laughs> And then she got a hit. Okay. Let's see, you're gone there. You're there. This one is the one to worry about. She hit someone. Okay, she missed. Good. Okay, but we're now one person down. You've got eight left. Let's see. Go here. Hopefully there aren't more. Doesn't look like it. Oh damn. Should have checked how much she had left, okay. Well, do this. Okay, you're dealt with. You can move, but you can't do much else, so move there. Caitlin, I have to, I have to use this. This is what these kind of battles are what these things are for, I think. Let's go here. And let's kick this over onto your head. Okay, nice. Then Ruby. Go here so you're in cover. And then shoot her. Okay. Now feeling a little bit more in control of what's happening. Wow, that was some shot. That wasn't quite a good shot. As good a shot. That was though. Okay. Right, so you're handled. Now yeah, we have to, so we have to take these down this round. So there's one here. We know that because you can't go there. So she can get there to kill that one. Can someone? She can kill either of those, but she can't kill both. Can you get to? You can't get to either of those. Hmm, okay. You can get as far as here, or even here. So you can go there, and then you could attack someone. Let's see that to start. And see what's available to you. Okay, so you can see all three. 29%, 89%. And then 73. Okay. So, if she moves to, say, here, and it makes it rain, she can then use this on you. She'll put you into that and she'll stun you. Okay, I think she's stunned back there somewhere. Yeah, she is stunned. Up. Okay. Caitlin now can come here. She needs to be right beside you. 
Okay, yeah, so go there. And she's gonna be able to kick you. Down the stairs, you're gonna hit the statue, you're gonna get stunned. Okay. Abigail can come here. She's gonna dash and slash. She's gonna come here. And then she's gonna kick you into the wall and you get stunned. Okay. Because if we kicked her straight down, there wasn't anything. She might have gone down the hole, but otherwise, there wasn't really anything that she could do. Right, so they've all overwatched, which is a bit of a problem. But not a huge problem. Well, maybe it's a huge problem. You've got one left, you've got three, you've got four. Okay. Well, we can see on the ground now where she's going to get overwatched. Okay. How about you? You're going to overwatch if you move. You're not going to get overwatched if you go there. But you are if you move out that way. Okay. So let's get you here. Then got a hundred percent chance to kill her, which is great. So do that for us. Okay, dead. Now you do three to five damage, and you do three to five damage. So you're going to do a maximum of ten damage. She has twelve health, so she's not afraid of your own watches. She can go there. Okay, so if she goes there, I kick you in there, and you're done. But then, what do you do? You can't get to either of them this round. Again, a problem. If you blink, you can blink as far as here. If you don't blink and you move, you can get to there. Okay, but you will get overwatch. Okay. But then she's standing out in the open. So she's gonna eat both overwatches. And go here. Okay, both missed, so we're fine. It's not a problem. She's gonna go through the hole when we kick her. Have a nice flight, lady. <laughs> okay. Now, there's no overwatches to worry about, so she can come down as far as here. She has a 74% chance to kill her. She can't quite reach with that. Okay, so... Let's take that chance. There we go. Okay. And that's them done. Right, so we got um, everyone up to level 4 now. That was a tough fight. That was a really tough fight. Again, as I said before, multiple enemies is really what. And then a mix, not just multiple enemies though, a mix of ranged and melee can really make it a problem. But I think I did okay. I'm not saying I did it perfectly, but I think I did pretty well. Well, wellish. Oh, watch and attack opportunity are disabled when taking damage. Okay, good to know. Ha! You truly are worthy. Plus 20 magic per week. Okay, that's not bad. Not a bad reward from that guy. Okay. I was hoping that he'd give us something really special, though, because that was a tough, pretty, well, a tough fish fight.
We can get there, let's do that. An abandoned post provides you with a safe place to rest your head. After a good night's rest, your party feels refreshed and ready to go, plus 10 to party steps. Okay. So we're going to go, I want to go to there next. So we're going to go there. And the next time we're going to see what this is. Oh, don't you Canadian? Or maybe it's because the thing is just plotting and stuff. But, uh, next time we're going to see what the story is. And for now, I'm going to end the video. So as always, if you have enjoyed, please hit that like button, share with a friend or two, or on your favorite social media. And I really hope to see all of you next time. Goodbye. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, maybe you'll hit the subscribe button there on the right and check out some other videos here on the left.